Oh, I bet you a water bottle. What up, what up, YouTube land? It is Saturday. I have no idea what is it, March 4th? 3rd. 3rd? Oh, no, no, it's the 4th. It's the 4th. What are you talking about? Oh, ain't yeah, that's what I play. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's 4th. Yeah. Anyways, uh, today Charlie and I are going to Newport Lamborghini. They're ha uh, having their monthly meet, right? For Yeah, first Saturday of every month. Exactly, and they're showcasing their new Aventador S, so that should be interesting. Uh, I'm not sure who we're going to meet there, but we usually go to this event. Um, either that or that Mission Viejo one. I'm not sure if you've gone to the Mission Viejo one. I don't think I have. It's like every Saturday and it's super early. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're headed there, checking it out, sticking a while, and then probably going to eat lunch and then head to home. So yeah. That's that V10 R8. That's Charlie. So we just got to Newport Lamborghini. Quite excited. There's some Bentleys over there. Because many Coachman's old uh, S7. The Lanyon, the 17 foot. Salani. Huh? 17 feet. 17 feet? 17 feet. Could you imagine? Oh, this is the one I chased down that one day. Is that a California tea? Yeah, it is. Oh, this looks super clean. Look, it looks like the wheels look fitted. This one has been known as like the chick Ferrari though. Oh, dude, that's so cool. I like how it's like fitted. Look at the wheels. The fitment. Whoop, 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 whoop. What do you think, Charlie? Yeah, this, this is the one. You get this one? I would definitely get this one. You get this one. Maybe not this color, but... I don't, know, I, just, I don't have anything against yellow, so it shouldn't be saying anything. But yellow is like a Lamborghini all-time classic color. True. I say, yeah, this is Charlie's Dream Bay. Oh, but check out the interior of that. That has to be Dream Bay material right there, too. That's clean. I'm not, I'm not too... Well, I'm not has, agreeing with that yellow though. That yellow interior. Package, if anything, like have a black, all black interior. I think that would make it look more cool. It look, it look more appealing. Lambert fucking guinea, bro. It was originally blue, but you can tell the guy had a stealth wrap on it, and it looks like the wrap kind of separates right there by the vent. That could be due to heat. I'm not exactly sure. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can definitely tell there's a stealth wrap on it. It was probably originally that uh, Le Mans blue. If I'm not mistaken. Remember that one thing you told me? Event a uh, door. Yeah, yeah, that's Aventador. how they named the cars. <laughs> I can can't see on the back of the game. Uh, that just totally destroys my dream. I, I like the, the carbon fiber look to it, but I would like to see the engine, personally. Glass, yeah. I'd love to see the engine. Bay or nay? Bay. Bay. But not, not this spec, but the idea in general is bay. Okay, I say bay. Yo, there's a boat in Auto House Ferrari, the 488. Hella slam, bro. Are they running some coils or is that on bags? I think it's on bags. I think it's definitely on bags. So, yeah. It is running on bags. Bay or nay? Uh, more so this than the 88. Which is really? Only because it's naturally aspirated, so you don't get that like wastegate kind of thing. Oh, another Lamber fucking Gini sticker. Do you know that that is like a super expensive option right there to get the blacked out badge? Wait, you know that? The what? The blacked out badge. Like normally, you know how it comes silver? Uh huh. It's an option on the SV and it's For how much? Like, I have no idea, but it's Lamborghini. It's like. Really? Yeah, probably like 2500 bucks or some shit like that. <sighs> Doug! Is this a turbo? No, it's uh, naturally aspirated SV. It has what? Hello Kitty pads. Dude, what the? I would have that in my car. Sure. Who drives that? Like, they have like a weird Italian name for it. Did they drive this all the way from Canada? Because this guy has a GPS on the window. And I think that's a radar detector. Yeah, it is. He has a radar detector on there. Daily Driven Exotics. Okay. You wanna say hi? It's like a maze. Oh, well, they probably did explain it. So you know how yesterday we were talking about, you know, 812, the blah blah blah. Yeah. This is my dream car right here, Charlie. Oh my god, look at this red. 
Look at this red. Oh. Oh. It looks like the inside of Jeff's car a little bit. Like that kind of red. Yeah. I said this is probably what it's called. Like it's like some wine. Dude, this is my dream car right here. Oh, this color too. Oh, no, no. Dude, look at the exhaust. That's sick. Dude, that oh, is sick. Those are sick. too. Oh shit, six speed manual. Yeah, this is all you, Charlie. This is it. DBS right here. Hell yeah. Oh, this is probably before. This is probably the first real exotic car I ever get. Oh. I like the badging. Alex, if you're watching this video, look at the badging. You should do that. Oh wait, no, he's he's getting uh, rid of it. That just looks no, I, sick. I definitely like the way this one was done up. Dude, look at that lip. That lip looks so sick. I definitely go for a Lotus. I right, Vora looks nice. It's that new Lexus. What is it called? It's oh yeah, the, the, the blah blah blah. Ooh. Is that a Prochetta 550 or a Marilano? That's a Marilano. Right? That's a Marilano. Yeah. Is that Joe? It's That's Joe. a Joe. No, That's not Joe. It's a V10. It's not <laughs> Sorry, Joe. Didn't you tell me this would be the color if you were to get in the This would be my color choice, that or white. It needs a good collection though, because that thing is killing me. That's killing me. That's breaking my heart. What is that? I don't know if you can see that, but someone like... No, and then there's a bigger black mark up here. Uh, but this new Audi looks That's cool. That's a pretty sick combination. Oh, there's Joe's get... car. Oh, there's, there's right Joe's. The, hey, Joe. Oh, Joe's right there. What are you talking about? Heck yeah! Say what's up. <laughs> Joe, you should just get like a lip. Dude, I, I actually want canards. Dude, this is the wow. Oh, that'd be sick. Oh my god, look at she's playing you though. What? That front of that car. Yeah, it's Charlie so feels Charlie feels bad. He thought that was the scuderia. I kind of felt bad too. I was like, oh no, oh no, Charlie. This is a walk of shame. This is a walk of shame. So the differences between the Cal the regular California and the T, you can tell by the exhaust. Uh, that's one main giveaway. The T, the they're too, because they have exactly. a lot of taillights on them. They're horizontal. Um, for the T, it's uh, it's horizontal for the exhaust, and the regular is just vertical. So that's one dead giveaway. You can. <gasps> Dog. <gasps> Bay or nay? Yeah. Oh yeah. For this one? Mm -hmm. Which number is this? 319 out of 350. Where do you see that? Watch. On the center console? Yep. Uh, still damaged. Street there. Back 319 out of 350. Oh, I see. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know. It says right there. That baby has a car baby seat. What do you call it? Car seat. You know what car I'd love to own? Why? A Macan S. For most people that don't know, the key is on the left side, the ignition is on the left side of the car. You know why I'm disappointed, Charlie? Why? There's no R35s here. You know, that's, I, that's the first time it's ever happened. There's R32s and 3s, I don't even know, honestly. I, don't, I think well, that's R32s. But, there are no R35s. <laughs> Dog. Yes! So, turns out, there is an R35. Yes! I don't care if it's not at the meet, it's almost at the meet, and that's that's what counts. Yay! I'm happy now. The Hawaii ro 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 So, the meet just ended. Um, the reason why Charlie and I like going to these meets, it's uh, it's just motivation for both of us. Personally, um, cars have been like a go-to for me, uh, helping me cope. And for me to see these cars in real life, it's sort of like, you know, like a surreal moment. You see those cars in posters when you're just a kid, and when you grow up, you actually see one in person, and you're like fangirling, like, oh my god, they're real. It's sort of like seeing a celebrity for the first time. You're like, oh my god, I only seen you in movies, but now I see you in your real life, and it's like, whoa. And you know, with me, correct me if I'm wrong, but the first time you you ran in and run, it was like, it was real to you, it became real. It wasn't yeah. like this thing where, you know, only rich people could have it. It was like, this is something obtainable. Exactly. And you know, ever since I had my first ride in a Lamborghini, I was, I was thinking I was 16. I think I was 16 when I, I had my first ride in a Lamborghini, and. Mm -hmm. Ever since then, it felt like super real, and like this was something that could be possible. But of course, you know, everybody always says work hard, and they don't exactly tell you what to do. But that's not their uh, 
their decision as far as what you should do and I figure you know a lot of this stuff requires creativity on our part and we got to figure it out you know no one's going to build shit for us there's no defined path to being successful and it's not always about the cars you know for me it's it's more of like um, being happy towards the end and for me just owning one of these cars would make me extremely ha uh, happy because I'm that car guy you know yeah and I've always fantasized about owning one and just like coming to that surreal moment like oh my god I bought this car and I think we mentioned it earlier it, the car is more of like a milestone than it is like a materialistic fuck you object you know exactly you know I don't care if no one ever saw me in my car I think it's just the fact that I own one and I got to that point in my life exactly seeing the these cars in real life, it motivates me personally, and I'm pretty sure it motivates you too. Yeah, oh definitely. And it's like, oh man, I really want this car, what am I gonna do, how am I gonna do it? It just gets your mind thinking of like different ways to own it or to purchase one. But yeah, basically, the goal is to both own Lamborghinis at one point in time. Exactly. And for you guys out there, sort of like, not sure what you want to do and you want to own like an exotic car one day, Find what you're passionate about, and then find a way to make money through that passion so you're not working, and you're basically making money while having fun. And that's pretty much like what we're trying to accomplish. There's gonna be a lot of haters along the way, and this path isn't exactly like the, the you know, all joy. Ah! You're reading deep, and then you've got like this path girl by the exactly, uh, You know, all roses and smiley faces. It's it's a tough path, but through it all, it'll be worth it. You create your own success, and no one else is gonna, you know, create it for you. You know, the market doesn't care about you. I think just uh, expanding upon what you were saying a little bit, I think it's hard to articulate exactly, you know, what it means to work hard, what it means to be focused, what it means to be passionate, because if you notice, like, um, I listened to a podcast, the MF CEO, and the guy on it, Andy Priscilla, was saying that like being an entrepreneur now is like being a new rapper. You know, everybody wants to be one, everybody wants to put it on their bio and stuff like that, but have no idea what it really means to be one. And I think as of right now, I consider myself a business owner. I'm working towards that point where I can innovate and do something special. And that's what I consider an entrepreneur, is like you can afford to live the lifestyle that you dream of. So that's, I'm just gonna like stay quiet until I'm actually like fully on me. With that, thank you for watching. Leave a like, sub for more. And I think the next video is going to be on Alex's broken BMW. It's literally broken this time. So it's in like, <laughs> like every beats of it. Pieces. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys like the content, please give a like, it means a lot. Um, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. I said, real question, would you swap? I mean, you can take the free as Yes, well. yes, 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 yes. I'll swap. swap.